the jelly layer, the step back shot, the side step, hop step. Okay, I don't really have a name for this one, but it kind of is a side step, step back sort of shot. But I'm going to show you all of these special moves that you can do in NBA Live Mobile. I'm going to start off with the easy ones and we'll work our way up bit by bit till we get to some of the more difficult ones. So starting off very simply with tip off. Now you might be thinking, well, there's only one way. You can only just play it to your point guard, but you can actually change who you're actually going to tip off to, whether that be in seasons, whether you've got matched up against someone with the same overall in showdowns, there are ways which you can change who you tip off to. So if you wanna just keep it simple and just play it to your point guard, you can either hold down the tip off button or you can move the joystick to the right and then it should go to your point guard as shown over there. But if you wanna change it and make it go to your shooting guard, all you have to do is move the joystick so it is going directly upwards and it should then go to your shooting guard. And then working our way down to play it to your small forward, all you have to do is move the joystick to the left-hand side and that should play it to your small forward if you do win the tip off. And then going on to the power forward spot, all you have to do is move the joystick downwards to then play it to your power forward. And obviously you can't play it to your center because he's the one doing the tip off. And on to the next one, which is going to be the pump fake. Now all you have to do for this one is just simply tap the shoot button. Don't hold it down too long. All you have to do is just simply tap it and you should get a pump fake. Now this is good at sending defenders away so you can find a bit of space to either get your shot off or if they go for the block, you can then go around them or play it to someone else in a bit of space. It works really well in arena to send the other person. If they're going up for the block, then you can take your shot because you do have a bit more space. It's a super simple move. All you have to do is just tap on the shoot button and you should get that pump fake off. Let's say you want a bit more separation. You might be looking to do a pick and roll. Now this one is a little bit more difficult as there isn't really a button for it. All you have to do is once you're holding the ball with a player, you have to swipe either left or right underneath the auto play button as i said it's a really random place but underneath the auto play button swipe either left or right and it should then set a pick and roll and this is great for getting you some space to get the shot off maybe you can get the guy who set the screen to roll off and then they should be in a good place to either play them the ball so they can take a shot or do a quick one to get the ball back and take a shot it's really simple to do as i said it's just swiping left or right in the area underneath the auto play button and you can actually get some pretty nice moves from doing that. And one of them can be the alley-oop, which is a really, really good move. And all you have to do to do this one is hold down the sprint button. And then what you wanna do is swipe from the sprint button to the pass button, and you should get yourself that alley-oop. You don't have to hold down shoot. You just need to swipe from the sprint button to the pass button, and it should give you that nice alley-oop. Now, the hardest thing with this is getting the positioning right. You want to have someone who's got good passing so that then they can play it to someone who's in a good spot, roughly around the hoop, or someone who looks like they have the space to go up for a dunk or a layup in that sort of area and then you want to do that move and then they should be able to catch that mid air and then either dunk the ball or do a nice layup in mid air so that then they can make the shot and that would be pretty nice it's a really nice move but it does take a little bit of time to get the positioning right so that you can do it the amount of times that you can easily just miss the pass and it goes sailing somewhere else it is a risky one but if they are in the right place you got a guy with a good passing stat it is a really really nice move and it is a really fun one to do but speaking of fun ankle breakers are really nice now there aren't specific dribble moves you can do they're ones that pop up now and again with a card but the main way you can actually get dribble moves is by simply spamming the hold sprint button now now you want to double tap this and it will do one dribble move if you hold the joystick up or down usually it is a spin move but other than that it's normally like snatchbacks and other sort of stuff you just have to feel about with it moving that joystick around or the analog stick moving that around while you're just tapping this hold sprint button because that is going to be the easiest way of you getting these dribble moves and the more you move about the court the more likely you're going to get a defender to move sometimes you can even get them to fall over or just at least move back a bit and fall to the ground there is no set way of doing specific dribble moves really we did have something in season one where you could just hold it down and it would do some nice combo dribble moves but all you have to do right now is just spam dribble moves it gets you some space and some separation from your defenders and it does also potentially get you some really really good ankle breakers now we'll get into some more complex sort of stuff and we'll start off with the bank shot now this one is just simply your shooting it will hit the backboard before it goes in and what it does is it creates a little bit more of an arc on your shots hopefully make sure it goes over defenders trying to block you a little bit better but it is a difficult shot to pull off you want to get into a good spot usually around the key it doesn't really work for three pointers it mainly works around the key 
from like a corner, not really side on, mainly from the corner. And what you wanna do is while you're pressing the shoot button, once you've then released the ball, you wanna move the joystick away from the hoop. So if you're on the left-hand side of the basket, all you wanna do is move the joystick down and to the right slightly. And if you're on the right-hand side of the basket, you wanna move it up slightly. It's just away from the basket and that should give you your bank shot. The hardest thing about this one is timing it right because you want to move the joystick just when you're about to release the ball, when your player's at the apex of his shot or just about to jump off and release the ball, that is when you want to actually go ahead and move the joystick. It is a little bit hit and miss, but it is very useful in getting it over your defender so it does actually go in more likely. And it is a pretty nice shot getting off the glass and back in instead of the straightforward swish all the time. But speaking of nice shots, now this one is a step back shot and it's the first one we're gonna take a look at. It's basically you're going in, you're stepping back out and you're taking the shot. And it is a little bit difficult, but once you've got it nailed down, it is very easy to do. All you wanna do is drive in with your player and then as soon as you swipe up to shoot, you have to swipe up, you can't just let go of the sprint button, swipe up to shoot and move the joystick away from the basket. So as I'm driving in, I'll drive in and as soon as I swipe up to press shoot, I will move the joystick to the right because that's away from the basket. And then you can see my player's gonna step in and then step back out for the shot. The bar, as you can see, goes straight to the top with the green one and it does make it a little bit smaller. And these shots don't always go in. There's a lower percentage chance of these going in because they are a tougher shot, but it's all about getting that step back right because that is probably the hardest thing to do, timing that joystick movement to get it right. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a normal mid-range shot. You want to try and be doing it as soon as you're swiping up for the shoot button that's when you move the joystick and then you can get some nice separation. You can do this for a three pointer or a two pointer. It doesn't really matter. Obviously the further out you go, the harder it is for it to go in. And it's already a difficult shot with a lower probability of it actually going in. So you've got to take your chances. You can do this from anywhere on the court. You just want to move that joystick away from the basket as you're swiping up from the sprint button all the way up to the shoot button. But then you have a second variation of this step back. This is sort of the side step, hop step. If you guys have a better name for it, let me know in the comments section down below. But for now, we're gonna call it step back shot number two. Now this one's kind of to the side a bit and you can see it works best if you're running in from the side of the court into the middle as it were. That's where it works best. It can be done in other places, but it is easiest done in the middle. What you wanna do is you wanna drive up and then you want to put the joystick away from the basket. So you're basically moving the joystick so that it is parallel to the baseline and then you're moving it so that it's away from the basket. And it's just that quick movement and you do that movement at the same time you're swiping up from the sprint button to the shoot button. So I'm holding down the drive button and moving parallel to the baseline. And then as soon as I swipe up and press the shoot button, I'm moving the joystick away from the basket and that will get you your separation. So you can then sort of sidestep out and take that shot. And it is a really, really nice shot once you get it nailed down. It is a tough one, as I said, it's easier done going into the center of the court, but it can be done from the sides, but it is a little bit more tricky to do. You wanna still do the same thing where you're sort of running one direction and then you move the joystick back out away from the basket. You can see a couple variations there and a couple from the sides as well, but it is really nice, especially if you get a really deep three pointer with these step back shots, it makes them really, really nice. We're going on to our final one, the jelly layup. Now this one is really good and there are loads of variations of it depending on the player you have. Some players have some insane layups, but others usually come up with a generic jelly layup. It is a tough one to do, but it is really nice when you can do it. Now, the main way that I do this is I basically go in and try and drive as close to the baseline as I can. Now, it is a bit tricky because I could get pushed out of bounds or I could lose the ball, but you wanna drive as close as you can to being on that baseline, but not exactly. And then when I get to this little mark over here by the baseline, then I want to go ahead and hold down the shoot button, but also move the joystick so that it is going down. Now, this is the hardest thing to do because you need to do all three of these things all together. You wanna to look out for that marker, swipe up to shoot, but also move the joystick down as you're going in for that layup because then you come under the basket doing a nice jelly layup over there. It can be done from both sides and it is moving that joystick sort of to the bottom left as it were and it is very tough to do because sometimes you just go in and you do get a random shot off which isn't what you want if you are looking to get that jelly layer, but it is easier to do from the side closest to you. And the reason for that is you can easily see that mark on the court, whereas on the other side, it's a little bit more tricky to see, but it is still a nice move to be able to do as you're basically coming up under the basket and you're sending defenders everywhere. And it is a nice layup when it does actually work. Now, the one thing I haven't really covered in this video is special dunks and dunk package dunks 
are absolutely insane. And if you want to go check out a video where I put together a full team of dunk package players to do the most insane dunks I possibly could, go check out that video in the bottom left hand corner. Trust me, some of the dunks they were doing were absolutely ridiculous. Go check out that video and I'll see you guys in that one. Peace.